Yes, it's a mess. So is my mess. It's November, so I'm allowed to let it grow, okay? Welcome gamers to a new and most exciting episode. Today we're gonna open up our scene again and go into the house. I'm gonna fill this house with furniture. So let's get right to it. First of all, um, you can of course make everything yourself, but most people don't know how to. So for those people, we're just gonna use a website called SketchFab. Uh, we can download three models over there that we can use in our worlds. I already opened up the website. We can go to sketchfab.com and in here you can actually search anything you want. But let me quickly switch scan you can see more screen. So uh, for example we got our house open and we got these chairs but we actually want a real sofa or a chair to sit on so let's um, first go to the website and search for a sofa and we are in here and well you can see some of them actually cost money if you don't mind buying models then please do because People made these and we should at least some credit. Um you press on downloadable so you only got models that you actually can download. And you got a whole list of all the models that you can include into your world. Shut up dog. There are a few things that you to consider before you start downloading models. Let me open up this first one. You can see this is a pretty pretty neat model. You can just rotate around it, view it from any angle you like, and make up your mind if you want this model in your world or not. Like I said, some cost money and others are free. This is a uh, you want can download it but before you start downloading every model that you see take a few things in consideration like the triangles try to keep them under like 10k and that's already pretty much the vertices well, if, if you keep the triangles under 10k then the vertices will be fine so Actually, this 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 model is good enough. Second, that you want to make sure of, uh, if you don't have any <coughs> any any editor for three D models like Blender, three D Max, just name them. There are there are a lot of um, software in 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 not in the world. So press download 3D model and you can see original format OBG, you got FBX, you got a lot of other types. If you don't have any any software to export and import your models in, then just stick to FBX and OBJ because those are compatible with Unity without any software. This is an OBG, so this is fine to use. So download it. You get a nice zip film. Open it, of course. Oh. Close. Computer has some problems. <laughs> I don't know why. <clears throat> First, before I started, the microphone didn't want to work, so I could talk and nobody could hear. But I fixed that and now on 
small things. So when you open up the compiled compressed zip archive, then you get two folders, two directories there. One named textures and one named source. Obviously the source contains the model. Textures is just well the textures of the model. And we need them both. As you can see in source there is another zip file, so I'm gonna open up that as well. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's here. And over there is the OBG. Sometimes in the second zip file there is also a textures folder that you can just copy paste. Um so let's place these file in the folder. Typically I like to create a new directory in my assets that I'm calling world. So everything like every model is gonna sit in here. <coughs> Excuse me. Before I make it and prefab and can use it like well duplicate it everywhere I want. So let's open up show in explorer I, I do that by right clicking on the folder and you can see it's highlighted just click on it again Take it right a little bit open the archive and drag and drop the model into it that's all and um, I like to give it a name because you know I, I need to know what model I'm referring to and if it's called ready I don't know what it is so I'm gonna call this one sofa so I know that this actually is so and I go up one and one, one, one folder and I'll be going to materials textures and go back to the textures and I start drag and dropping these textures into the textures. So that's it. We got all the files that we need now. So I'm gonna open up Unity again. There we go. Wait for it. Load all the files that we just added to it. There we go. It's taking a little while. Right there we are. So when I open up the world, I can see my sofa and actually see the model has been loaded, so we don't need any software to like export change. When I got this selected, you get on the inspector a lot of options. So I like to deselect everything except for convert units that's the only thing that we keep checked the skill we will check that when we drag it in the, the scene so for now I'm gonna apply this and that's done if you want uh, the model to have colliders like so far you can maybe walk on it or place objects on it or something then you will need to generate colliders uh, do this only when you have like complex models like this. It's not a block. It's not a sphere. It's not a cylinder. It's, it's not a, a default primitive that you can use for this model to collide with. So we're gonna generate colliders. We really got like the back of the couch and the bottom of the couch where you can stand on. And we're gonna keep the legacy blend shape normal. Well, normally that's only needed when you actually have blend shapes in the model, but we don't know if the models that we download have blend shapes. So just to be sure, check them on or leave them off and check this. Fine. I like to. I'll keep it on. I like it. 
And the last one is generate light maps. Only check that one if you actually want to bake lightning in your world within the previous episode. So I keep that checked as well and I'm gonna apply it again. So now we got everything set up. We're gonna drag this into the world and I can already see <laughs> that this model is way too big. We can yeah. We can almost live in this couch. <laughs> so we're gonna oh, do point zero, apply it again, and we will see that it gets scaled down. There we go, it's still big. So we're gonna fill it down a little bit more. Look at that, we're getting there, but if we check our reference dummy over there, it's still, it's almost, Two meters <laughs> in size. It's still a Let's make it three. It, well, let's put our little man. It, it's. We, we, well, maybe 35. It's just about tweaking now and make sure that your dummy is near it and looks as accurate as it can get. I think this is this is perfect. It's still a little bit too big, but uh, you know, I can keep modifying till I'm satisfied. But for now, this is fine. So I'm gonna rotate it 180 degrees with facing towards the mirror and put it under the see yes <clears throat> and actually i'm gonna drag it away a little bit like like this fine okay so we're missing the textures now and uh, we got our sofa over here we can oh well, it's it's gonna be aesthetic model so we we can't pick it up and it's not like moving or changing its position at all so we're gonna check static flexion probes we're gonna set it to blend probes and the sky box it will receive some shape give it a little bit more depth uh, cast shadows yeah it will cast shadows on the ground so that's fine Still in light map, and I like to put it on point two, so it doesn't put as much as detail in the shadow map on the couch than other parts that are way bigger. Uh, stitch seams is not really necessary, but we can check it anyway. Okay, that's for this so let's go to materials and create a new material and we're gonna call this one sofa to keep consistency with our model and, and we're gonna lock this you got that little unlock icon over there just press it once so that when we press something else on the scene it doesn't well, we can now open our texture folder and we can see A is for albedo. We put it there. Ambient occlusion is for the ambient occlusion. We got M metallic. Go and we got the N normal map. We got fix it. There we go. And that were all yeah that was all. all right that's fine we're gonna disable the specular highlights because we don't need specular highlights ouch reflections we keep that checked on so we get like the, the lightning that bounces off on the wall over here it's gonna give a little bluish ue so when it bounces off the wall onto the couch, we will get a little bit of 
bluish on the couch that blends better into the scene. I keep the reflections on. You can turn it off if you want, but I, I can let me show you. Turn it off. You can see it's getting flat. Turn it on. You can see it's reflecting the surroundings a little bit. Put it down a little bit so you can see getting a little bit more bluish instead of the black version of it. And I like this too. Yeah, I have a little more realistic view on like, the couch. So this looks pretty, pretty pretty good already that's it that's how you put a single model from the internet in your own world well we got our, our chairs over here so let's remove one because it's a two-seater sofa I'm gonna drag this a little bit into the middle of C1 and C2 we select them both by holding control selecting the model and we're gonna put them on top so you can see the white plate and more <clears throat> that looks fine we're gonna select the two chairs and put them into our mod now we're gonna put them into the sofa this you can see the plus behind it that's because we added it and we're gonna open up the hierarchy select the chair base and back unlock the inspector by pressing the lock and again and uncheck this box there we go So we got our couch now and although you cannot see it, so check this box again, it's still there, like the end point and exit point etc of the chair is still there, it's not disabled, it's only those two blocks that are disabled and now that we have this completed I'm gonna create one more folder and I'm gonna call this one prefabs and you can build this in however you like uh, sometimes I create a new folder in this one um, calling that one furniture or calling it a house depending on the prefabs that I'm creating but for now I'm just gonna drag this sofa that we got in the hierarchy over here I'm gonna drag it in our folder and I'm pressing original prefab and we got our couch over here so we can actually delete this one or keep it it doesn't really matter but we you know just drag this one in and we got an exact copy of the couch of, of this sofa and if you open up the hierarchy you can see the chair is also in here so we don't have to position it again and try and test it it's fine by this i'm gonna move yapi over there gave him a name so we got our two couches over there and i think we can put anything in here that we want ourselves. We just go back to the oh, those go into here and what do we want? Um, we want TV. Also, we need television and there's so many TVs. 
Pick one, I know. Come on. Do it. Oh man. If I want a TV, I want a good TV. <laughs> There's not just a crappy TV. Look at that. Even a whole furniture setting. We, we could just download it and put it in there if it's the right amount of uh, triangles. And you can see 9K triangles for all of this. Well, yeah, it's not as high quality as it can be. Television looks good. But let me just download this one. Download it's an FBX, so it's fine. We can use that. Downloading. Going back to World. Show an Explorer. We got to open the archive. I'm going speedy right now because we just explained how this works. So I'm just gonna go through it pretty quickly. Game room furnish. Name is fine. Uh, did we had yeah we had textures? So oh, there's a lot of textures. So we'll go materials, textures. Copy them all. Paste them in here. You can also create a new folder in here. Name it furniture or whatever, and put the textures in there for your own sanity. Find whatever you're looking for. Now this is fine. Let down. Let it load again. Just gonna wait for it for a second. Getting there. Uh, like I said in all my videos, waiting is the thing that you do most of the time. Like placing an object, you know how quick it is, and well, the loading could also be a shitty computer, <laughs> of course. <laughs> but I'm working on it. Hope to. So about a few parts soon. Almost there. And when it's there, I'm also gonna show you guys how to make the video or the the, the TV screen play videos. Taking too much time. Probably gonna skip forward this waiting time. And all right, there we go. We got the furniture there. We're gonna deselect this. We're gonna generate colliders because it's a pretty complex. Oh, no, I'm not gonna do it. Yes, I, I'm gonna generate it because the closet, the television is in it, and I want to select, uh, be able to select the television later on. If we put a box collider on it, we probably cannot interact with the television anymore because it's inside another collider. But for the other parts, we could just use a block that hard. And we're gonna generate light maps, yes. We're gonna drag it in a little bit up. There we go. And actually, look at that, it's already the right side. So we're gonna keep it like this. We're gonna rotate it 90 degrees. We're gonna um, move it over here. That looks good. Um, we can actually put some chairs in it. 90 degrees. Like I said, I'm going pretty speedy right now because we already did all of this 
and I already explained it. So it's a little bit useless to do that again. And now see the progress of doing it. Control click them all. And select all check and place. Item and all put them over game room furnishings. That's that and we gonna create textures. Terry one. Ferny, Ferny, Closet, the Closet, the, the drawer over there, and the Closet. What do we have? This couch, base couch. Yep, yep. Small table, one TV cabinet. Look at that, we got. The roughness we can use it for click click and this is the AO ambient occlusion the normal map is now um unlock it and we can drag and drop it only TV cabinet it looks fine as you can see like the normal map is extreme okay I like to do a point 36 um, but it's not possible for the quest if you want so I'm gonna keep it one so I can keep this tutorial <laughs> world for uh, open for everyone uh, so that's fine I'm gonna remove the specular highlight don't need it uh, keep the reflections because you know it looks way better with the reflections on and control G to duplicate and we're gonna ferny um, Rock. I'm gonna do the rug now. Unlock this one again. Can move this. This is cool. normal. Fix now. And that's it. Back, oh, back to materials and put it on. Look at that. Look in beautiful was <laughs> way too shiny though <laughs> but that's fine now and make it less shiny and look that cabinet a bit less shiny that's yeah okay so now for table table and this one again I'm locking this because if I unlock this and I click on one to see the name the thing gets changed so for that purpose I lock this and just simply drag and drop the textures onto mud Material. Now, now we got our table and last couch table. Look at that beautiful table because we duplicated it with uh, Control D. We have the same settings as the TV cabinet. The same, and we do the rug duplicate this for the couch because it's both uh, fabric 
Oh, they should share the same in real life. Oh, this is gonna be couch. And unlock it again. Metallic occlusion, normal. When you do this often, then you'll just see what texture goes where because the metallic is always black and white same for occlusion but occlusion is more white than black and or mooded out the normal map is always purple with bluish or green and like the albedo is always the colored version of it so you start to recognize them Right, so we got our uh, couch. Let's go back. Put the couch on it. Look fine. And there is a television. And the television normally is something very, very shiny. And then this one for the TV. <coughs> unlock and lock again. And let's see where is the television. Oh, TV, Metallica, Metallica, no, Metallica, Metallica is something completely. Urbendo, that's something we're doing right now. Now, and, and just drop it on it. More shiny. Beautiful. Yes, fine. So that's it. <coughs> And one last thing, um, there is a pretty large library with all kind of prefabs that you can download from uh, For Your World. And that's created by the community. And it's right over here. I already used it once or something I can't remember. And for this purpose, because we're having our television, we want a small. TV video player thing in there. So let's add the hideout player. In my opinion, one of the best. Go to the link and press download here. There we go. It's downloading. When it's done, then just press it to open it. Wait for it. We forgot one thing actually. Okay. Import. Because we just created this game room furnishings and it's all textured up and the seats are available now. We can create a prefab out of it. So I'm going to unlock this again and drag this over here, create an original prefab so we can use it wherever we want. Now this is fine with that. Slowly filling in the empty spaces in here <coughs> there are also like light switches and things that you can download from the website just to change your block toggles to whatever maybe a lever or i don't know the imagination of you is what it well, makes it so we just imported the hangout player and we got everything in here we got hangout player all prefab and we got a hangout player prefab so i'm just gonna hit the hangout player prefab i'm gonna check which side is actually a video side so if you see this you can look through it but on the other side it's like a black plane and that's where the video will be on so we're gonna rotate it 180 and we're gonna put it in in place I mean E just a little bit in front of the back of the television but behind like the edge you get really that feeling like the screen is inside so we get it over here now but we cannot just kill it down if we do that we will screw up the UI 
we're gonna move the UI out and like over here. So rotate it slightly and 70. Move it on the wall over there. People can fill in their URL over here. And now we got the screen and this the thing that we can resize always try to resize from like the center object because videos have a ratio and you want to keep that you don't get like the black bars or stretch out videos and most of the models should have the same uh, <coughs> ratio um, like this you can see it's perfectly fitting inside the television that's it so we're gonna save our project going to the SDK we're going to login Yeah, it can whine about special audio source. And that means, well, it's already saying what you need to do. Please use a VRC Spatio audio source. So Spatio, and you got it right over there. Just add it to it. Remove this one. And do that for both, because you got two screens. Uh, in this prefab, and then the most uh, it was too large for here. To yeah, we made it way too large for the quest, of course. Well, actually, I'm gonna switch this build target windows. Also, for the quest, the video player isn't working, so you have to delete it for the quest. But, um, my purpose, I'm gonna change it back to windows and when that's done and i've uploaded it show you how in game oh it's yeah it's been uploaded so let's um check it out yeah this will work i didn't connect my vr so it's fine oh Oh, let's check it out. Oh, there it goes. And one VR working. There, my base default world with all the things that I offer to you guys. So let's go to worlds to mine and wait for my awesome home to load there we go i changed the picture a little bit to the corner so let's go check it out 31 mb not too bad look at that a beautiful couch <laughs> sofas are in there and we can still sit on and see that's great let's go to our little video player that looks pretty cute right small screen we got the settings over here so next Start the next video or just enter a new row and press enter. But I guess most of you guys are already familiar with. So that's it, and we can still sit on this one as well. 
we can see that the colliders that have been created are working as it uh, intended. So we can stand on the couch now, even on the top. And this is also working fine. Same over here. So basically, you now got all the tools that you <laughs> need to build your own awesome home world, etc. Let me a little bit bigger. Um, I won't stop you from creating your own awesome worlds now because I don't know what else I have to teach you just to start with your own world with just everything that I've been telling the six videos with those skills you can create anything like and even with the prefabs that I have uh, offered you can do a lot like this world uh, uses one of the latest prefabs that I offered you guys quickly load up there we go look at it you can create your own world with it and recreate what I've created in here and you can add furniture from that website that I just gave just to fill up your own house with things that might be in there like some kind of um, theater uh, chairs watch the great video screen <laughs> So yeah, there is uh, not much that I can like provide you guys at this moment. There are a lot of other things that I can teach you guys, so don't worry. I keep making a tutorial every month, and from this point on, they will cover different kind of things like how you make this glow effect or like the reflections in here that you can see the glass and the pipe or well, all sort of things at the moment I'm I don't, no, I don't have it here yet but I'm creating a chess piece that you can reset and name it there, there are a lot of other things uh, you guys like how to make things float but still pick up a ball or whatever there, there are a lot of things that I still think of this one is also good if you look at it when I click it it's changing a lot you can see the mood changing so much just by button so um <clears throat> for now I want to thank everyone again that has been supporting me for this month and all my other patrons last month we'll probably put them right on the screen up there so thank you guys it, it means a lot of uh, for me, so I hope I can reach you something and that you will be able to use it in your own creations. And once again, just send me your screenshots of things that you have created or show me around in your worlds. I'm really excited to see some of you guys world in VR chat or whatever you do with it. Let me know and. Once again, thank you for support and I hope to see you next month as well. Take care now guys, until next month, later.